princess and says she can't remember a single thing about horse incident. The princess royal made the revelation during her first public engagement after the accident. Princess and is speaking out about her health for the first time since she sustained a concussion and minor injuries in a horse-related incident at her country home. On July 12, the Princess Royal, 73, marked her return to royal duties, making her first public appearance since she was hospitalized last month. Hello! If you're new here please do not forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to remain updated. During her visit to the Riding for the Disabled Association, RDA, National Championships at Hartpury University and Hartpury College in Gloucestershire, and shared that she can't remember a single thing about the incident, which is believed to have been caused by an impact from a horse's head or legs. Helena Vega Lozano, chair of RDA UK, shared that as soon as an exited the car, she stated, I can't remember a single thing about it, reported the Daily Mail. Despite her recent health setback, King Charles's sister appeared to be in her element in the equestrian setting, where she joined RDA supporters in the arena, presented awards, and met winners. The three-day RDA National Championship is the largest equestrian event of its kind for disabled competitors, and the organization has long been close to Princess and's heart. She became patron in November 1971 and has been its president since March 1986, stepping out to support the organization's flagship festivities and a gradual return to royal duties on July 12. Princess N's comment comes after she was discharged from the hospital following a five-day stay after the accident that happened on June 23. People confirmed that King Charles's sister was receiving rehabilitation support at her Gatcombe Park home in Gloucestershire after leaving South Mead Hospital in Bristol on June 28. It was understood that the royal would remain at her country home for a period of rest and return to royal duty when her medical team determined it was safe to do so. On June 25th, the Telegraph reported that and was suffering memory loss, thought to be temporary, relating to the incident. When Princess and left the hospital, her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, issued a short statement voicing his gratitude to her care team there. I would like to extend my warmest thanks to all the team at South Mead Hospital for their care, expertise, and kindness during my wife's short stay, said Sir Tim, who married Anne in 1992. Princess Anne and her husband Timothy Lawrence ride in a carriage after attending the Order of the Garter Service at Windsor Castle on June 17, 2024 in Windsor, England. Princess Anne and Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence travel by carriage following the Order of the Garter Service at Windsor Castle on June 17, 2024. Sir Tim, 69, gave a brief update to reporters about his wife's health after visiting his wife at the hospital on June 26, saying that she was recovering slowly and that she would be out when she's ready. On June 24, Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles's sister sustained a concussion and minor injuries in an incident at Gatcombe Park the day prior. The Princess Royal has sustained minor injuries and concussion following an incident on the Gatcombe Park estate yesterday evening. Her Royal Highness remains in South Mead Hospital, Bristol, as a precautionary measure for observation and is expected to make a full and swift recovery, they said in a statement. The King has been kept closely informed and joins the whole Royal because of the concussion that Princess and sustained. Thanks for watching till the end.